all right so i had the story up there on the community page why don't we discuss it together all right it says confused i've been having mixed feel for this one girl at my school she's been she's been my close friend for a few year for a year already but i i i started catching feelings let me i don't want to blind you guys out just just look at my face while i do this okay i'll read it she's been she's been she's been my close friend for a year already but i started catching feelings this month after we had one-on-one -on -one hangouts multiple times it's weird for me because some days she'd be super attached and clingy but on others day on other days she'd be distant we both flirt with each other a lot such as tapping each other's heads tickling one another or bumping into each other heads or bumping into each other's heads okay no bumping into each other while walking on some days would text on to 2 a.m but on other days she would leave me on delivered for a few days the texting situation is confusing because i know she doesn't use her phone a lot and has do not disturb on at all times all of our friends say she always ghosts as well but it just makes me anxious that she's not responding i'm being torn apart here because i really want to hang out with her more often but i really but i can't seem to get to her she all she's all she always stays around with her best friend who is a girl and there's always and they're always together while i'm just at a distance not knowing what to do what should i do at this point i want to be in a relationship with her but the mixed signals i'm getting are driving me nuts if i just drop her everything will go to shambles because my school is small so everyone's connected with one another it's just going to make everything awkward between everyone all right so he says what should i do that was his main question what should i do at this point and there was some there were some uh response you know there's some response i'm gonna read some of the response that we had there uh what does the response say uh let's see uh let me see comment we had like four comments there all right so i noticed that d always leaves some comments there i appreciate that thank you to d and it looks like we have a sponsor for this show d love thank you so much i appreciate you thank you so so much i appreciate that thank you thank you thank you all right so let's let's handle this i'm looking at some of the comments so d always leaves uh, uh i think tima always leaves answers too and i appreciate those answers i really appreciate those answers but let me read some of these answers um to that young man uh d says why are you having relationship issues without being in a relationship that's a good question that, that's a good question right but you'd be shocked <laughs> i guess this is a uh this is a this is a evidence that people do end up with relationship issues without being in a relationship right people do right that's the reality right uh but that, that's a question you ask yourself you ever find yourself in a relationship with you and you're not the only one ask yourself the question that d is asking why am i having relationship issues and i'm not even in one you know uh that question right there will be connected will help you connect back to your self-esteem like what is wrong with you have some self-respect why are you having relationship issues with people that that's not committed to you right and d continues say don't you love peace <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you see emotions emotions arguably does not love peace emotions is all over the place it's chaotic it's literally it's literally and dare i say opposite of structure right order right feminine right yeah not opposite of feminine like precisely feminine right uh energy feminine energy precisely okay anyway let her know you like her but you have to be honest with yourself right that's a good point too like have you made your intentions known right 
and she continues to say, if you get into a relationship with her and she moves like this, will you be okay with it? Well, maybe she's moving like this because you haven't actually made your intentions known. You are not a man yet. Okay, I'm being careful, I'm being nice, okay? You haven't, you're not sure of yourself. When you're not sure of yourself, other people can't, especially the ladies can't feel safe around you. They might even like you. Maybe she actually likes you, but she's kind of confused. Like, this guy is not sure of himself, and that's not sexy, right? The sexiest thing alive is confidence. Shout out to Brother Patrick, sir. Brother Patrick, me when you on what's in mind, but on Salo, but I will send the information to you soon. Thank you so much. How are you, sir? All right. Um, Tima says, description of the interaction and him too closely being monitored spirit, monitoring spirit of Messi is giving me bad vibe. Oh, yeah, we're going to get to that part too, right? <laughs> yep, exactly. Mm -hmm. Let me let me continue here for a second. It appears that you, you will most likely not, right? Yeah, he won't like it. Or he might, he might even be in a relationship. And even if that is not happening, he will be seeing that happening. He will, like every time the girl is, maybe she's busy. She'll be like, why is she not answering me right now? Why is she not answering me right now? That kind of person can end up being that person. Now, to be fair, you can be young enough and it's your first experience and you don't know any better. You, you're, you're excited about maybe possibly your first, second girlfriend, right? And you're moving like this, right? But some people, they've actually, they're actually coming from a place of, the worst type of experiences yes he will he will come will become needy and clingy okay and that's not sexy it appears that you will most likely not apparently like if she's moving like this right if you do decide to go ahead bear in mind that it could create issues if she isn't willing to adapt to your preferences right we have to like you said in the beginning d you have to actually make his intentions known first and just from looking at the text i don't think he ever made his intentions known he just said she's being cl my close friend my close friend what does that mean right uh <laughs> it sounds like someone that's already stuck in friend zone right all right so let's continue so you have to at least make your intentions known first she isn't willing to adapt to your prayer. If you would not, I think it might be better to get with someone who naturally loves talking all the time. Yeah, I'll, I'll even tell you this much. If you make your intentions know and she's not your girl, and after a while, maybe see finish start to enter. Maybe you don't want to talk all the time too. But that's, this guy is not that guy, right? This guy is not that guy because he's even having trouble to say, hey, I want you to be my girlfriend okay we've been hanging out i'm not even toasting you forget toasting okay i want you to be my girl okay i'm feeling you i want you to be my girl right and what's the worst that can happen oh i don't want to lose my friend because she's actually a good friend if she says no i can end up losing the friend and then i still won't have a girlfriend right these are the probably the kind of thoughts that's going through his mind to me, it just looks like somebody that's very, very young with no experience yet. That's what it sounds like. Because again, I'm reading here, it says, I've been mixed feeling with this one girl at my school. They're in school. Oh, that's so cute. Anyway, shout out to some name called, uh, let me see here. Uh, let me see if I can see this, the actual name of this person. Ogbewi, shout out to Ogbewi, okay. Oh, but we say it's red flags, let it go. <laughs> red flags, let him toast first now. Let it go. When what you what you can take in friendship, you can't take in relationship either. We can't really compare the two together. He has to have some kind of test. He has to have some gut to actually ask this girl out first before we start worrying about all the psychological terms and stuff like that speaking of psychological terms there's another video i'm supposed to react to that yeah that we didn't get to yet you will end up ruining everything just let it go he probably feels ruined the red like i want this chick find someone who genuinely communicates with you and not leave delivered for days yeah all of this are not relevant until he actually learn how to make his intentions known with his full chest first like 
especially as a young man you have to learn how to practice and and and, and just just say it just get it out there like get it out there i'm feeling you i like you you like me how i want you to be my girlfriend well i'm not ready for that okay let me know when you're ready how's that right just let it be known. Don't don't like you know. Don't like beat around the bush. And then you're talking on the phone. And then you're there's so much going on there. Okay, Tima left a message here. Okay, good. Tima said, "Gosh, you sounded so innocent." Exactly. That's why I wouldn't bring in things like red flags, boundaries, gaslighting. <laughs> I wouldn't like. Please save. Let the poor breathe. Please save our young ones from all the psychological terms, please. It's too early. Let the poor breathe. Let it's too early. Let them like like let them like let them have a little puppy love first. Let them get their heart broken first a little bit. It's small, just small. A little there's nothing wrong with a little like getting stuck in a little friend zone. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? Let's take it easy. <sighs> so yeah, Tima says you sound so innocent, like someone who has never suffered a heartbroken before, right? It seems to me like you're in a relationship with yourself. That's a fact, right? <laughs> That's a fact. But he did say friendship. He did say friendship, to be fair. Or interpretation of what you think is going on between you. Yeah, like you hold hands, you're in GSS. GSS4, no, sorry, GSS2, GSS1, right? You're holding hands, you're talking, you're feeling your first butterflies in your stomach, and in your heart of hearts, you feel like you're already together. But then she's playing, she's seemingly playing games. But the girl is like, no, I'm washing plates in the kitchen. My mom told me to go and wash plates, and I don't have time for, I'm not thinking that, right? All of that is too, like, like in his own one one little head there's a lot going on already he's played out about two hundred thousand Nollywood movies of how their relationship played out okay oh yeah by the way there are grown men who do this just so you know there are 50 year old men who still do this okay just so you know okay <laughs> it seems like okay you're in relation with yourself or interpreting what you think might be going on between you two i don't hear you say you express how you feel to her ah tima are you reading mind about my, my, my reading your mind I, I promise I did not read your comment. I just knew that I was going to react to this at some point, right? But that's on point, right? He, he never said anything about expressing how you feel to her. You have to, you have to, at some point, make your intentions known. That is an opportunity to demonstrate that you are a man. Well, in Genesis 1, you're not really a man, but you start practicing. You don't drop out of disguise as a man. The little, little things that happen in our life as we grow into becoming right so but that's you know that's what you're trying to play house in your classroom then you better know how to demonstrate i have to say you know yeah I just in fact you can't say i want to toast you you can't even start like that i know it would be lame but just do that like what do you mean you want to toast me like i want to toast me how would you like me to toast you <laughs> right <laughs> No, 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 I didn't use that line. I didn't use that line in Jesus one. I'm just saying, okay? It's a line. It's just a line, okay? All right? It seems that that, that it's all in your head, plain imagery boyfriend. Ah, Tima, you were not nice to this boy, right? Uh, before you started pointing fingers or doubting yourself, get hold of yourself. <laughs> That's a fact. That is a fact. Get a hold of yourself and your emotional regulation. You're worrying about so many things and many people. Good luck that is a fact oh my god that's a lot there's no listen i didn't need to add any more to that uh, there's no need for me to add any more to that let me see oh god uh but i'm about to say in our time that's the first thing you say to a girl i want you to be my girl they don't want to say that anymore but uh, patrick it's 2023 they don't want to say it anymore right what they say these days is what do you bring to the table that's how they toast people now <laughs> I was about to say Nigerians, but it's actually Amer Americans are on this table too. In fact, they're the worst. If no, Nigerians are the worst, but they're all on the table, right? Yeah. What do you bring to the table? That's how they toast these days. And then the girl is triggered, and it's like I'm triggered. Wait, what is triggered? How do they get to trigger? 
You're triggered because I said, what do you bring to the table? What? Why? Because she has an idea where you're going. You're lame. And she doesn't want to have any conversation with you. Okay? She can't wait to get away from you. Wait, what? That's what's wrong with this girl these days. What's wrong with asking what do you bring to the table? What? That's a good question. <laughs> okay? <laughs> That's a good question. That's something you can start to figure out. Maybe you should start figuring that out. If you want to have a girl, start figuring out why is it that when you say, what do you bring to the table, they get triggered. Ask yourself that question. Think about it, right? Think about it. Why is it that something that's nothing is completely wrong with that statement, why would they start to feel wrong? Oh, feel. Okay. Anyway, let's continue. Ha, they're in school. The fear is understandable for now, but will need to be managed, perhaps with experience. Oh, there are 60-year-old people that do this, okay? Not 60, 40, 43, 42, <laughs> okay, 38, okay? That, that, that don't know how to say, I'm feeling you. They're afraid of, they, they, they're moving with fear precisely, right? They don't want to seem like they're pro because they once they tell you they like you, in their mind, they think they just asked for your hand in marriage, right? So they don't want to disappoint, right? But so they kind of like taking like that they don't want to go all in, right? But you can say I like you, and tomorrow say you know what I don't like you anymore. That's also okay. Mm. <laughs> Tima said, please let the poor brother breathe. <laughs> yeah, we'll let them breathe like, right now. That's the way people toast each other these days. So weird and lame. Listen, it's not working. You know, it's not working. Um, yeah, it's not working. It's not working. In fact, there's a quick story I want to tell you uh, before we move on. I'm going to tell you a quick story. Uh, hold on one second. Let me let me round up this segment, then I'll tell you the story. I'll be right back. One love enough, we done enough 